Gunning Gamers here. Well, I don't know if I will ever have such a dickered video, but I'm here at the old house for the last time, the last time that I'll ever be here. Um, I am exhausted. It has been a week from heck. I want to say hell because we've had a really good move, but it's done. I've got, uh, I've hauled two trailers behind the Suburban, uh, was 6x12, and I showed pictures of that and a picture of what that trailer looks like. So I hauled two of those with the Suburban. I've got the third one hooked up, and then I did a 26-foot U-Haul with the 6x12, 6-foot by 12-foot trailer. So I guess that's four 6-foot by 12-foot trailers and the same one you saw behind the Suburban and then the 26-foot truck. It has been insane with all the stuff we've had to move. So I'm exhausted. Last load's going tonight. Tomorrow I'll be able to get the U-Hauls back. It is right now, what day is it? Monday. We've been going for a week. We've been moving. We started moving Tuesday and hauled loads almost every day. And yesterday we did the big truck and the trailer. We cleaned out, like finished packing up and cleaned out the entire house and basically got it there. And I mean, it was probably one of the most grueling days of my life. It was so much in one day. I was so tired. But um, yeah, so this is going to probably be a Dickard video. But I wanted to show you not where Gunning Gamer started because we started two, two, just over two years ago in Tennessee. It's like we've been a family on the move. But we started, I mean, two years ago, we started the Twitch here. And Many of you that watch the Twitch know that this house that we're in is actually just on the other side of the river in Minnesota. So I told everybody that we're not actually in Wisconsin, but I didn't want to tell people exactly where we were because it'd be real easy to find out where we were. And just because of security and things like that and uh, all the idiots uh, doing the swatting stuff on Twitch. So, um, but yeah, I'm a Wisconsin resident, so resident cheesehead. And uh, we are indeed moving out to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So that's for the new houses that I've said in the videos. But this house technically is in Minnesota. I can see Wisconsin out the uh, out this uh, the the old studio, if you want to call it, window. It's right there. So um, yeah, that's the uh, the basement 360. Uh, get the Dickard mug off of there. Basically, this is all unfinished. Um, this is we had boxes half of. Our possessions were down here basically unpacked there's a exit going outside the garage is detached I'll show a picture of the garage but um, yeah it's basically all been boxes because the house is a thousand square feet which is very small we came from an 1800 square foot home this is a thousand and then we're going to a 2500 square foot so we couldn't really unpack and uh, that'll be a mechanical room but I had my gun cleaning table over there and I would clean some guns and just everything. We just had storage. It was it's crazy. There's stuff that's been packed up since we left Tennessee, you know, less than two years ago. So this is a major, another major move. So another state, <laughs> this time to Wisconsin. This is going to be a bathroom. I'm not going to spend much time on this house because this is where we're leaving. But I wanted to show it. I do have an old video from two years ago that I did to show my family in Tennessee what we were moving to. And I will put a link in the description that is a, not a private video, but it's an unlisted. I never made it public because I just want to share it with my family. But if you guys want to check it out, you can. So it's uh, filmed uh, December 29th of 2013 or something, like right before New Year's. Anyway, right before we moved here. But uh, this is going to be a laundry room kind of a thing. And then there was a bedroom over there. So nothing too special. This was a kid's play area. This room was the only room that was kind of not full of boxes. And we had like a little trampoline. And they had some toys and a rubber mat. And it just, just not very, you know, not very awesome. But they're going to finish it. Um, this house is owned by kind of my folks. And it was built by my step-grandma about 20 years ago. So... Yeah, it did pretty good for her, but uh, that's the story behind it. And we were renting from them, but this is the living room. This is where Miss G had to work and watch kids. I don't know how big this room is, but it's not a very big living room. She had her desk, her TV, 
And so three kids and myself and everybody else, we were all trying to live in this little living room. I hated coming out here. It was very claustrophobic. And it used to drive me crazy. I probably spent, you could count all the hours I spent in here since January last year on one hand. So I hated being in here. And that's where the TV was. Big uh, 60 inch there that we had and never wanted to watch it. So this was the uh, master bedroom. And again, I'm showing you this so you can see how happy we are to be where we're going. Master bedroom is 12 by 12, quite small. Tiny little closet with the bifold doors that we uh, do not like. I keep teasing my wife that we're going to get bifolds in the new place. Well, it's already done, but time you guys see this video, you'll be uh, this will be uploaded on the new internet. But uh, this was the bathroom. Yes, we damaged the floor. <laughs> just uh, it's just cosmetic. It's just water gun under there from the kids and uh, just kind of seep. But they're going to put new vinyl floor in or whatever. That was a brand new floor two years ago, but. Uh, that's the only bathroom in the joint, and uh, quite small, just enough for one person to stand. There's like a medicine cabinet thingy over here, you know, pretty standard. This was the boys' room, three boys. I think this room was like 11 feet long. It's kind of a long room, but it was only like, I can't remember, like eight feet wide or nine, 10 feet, I don't know. And uh, it actually used to be the laundry. The closet's not too bad. It's big enough for a washer and dryer. That's what used to be in here, but we do that downstairs. And uh, this was the boys' closet. So again, nothing much there. That was a coat closet, very, very small. And we used it as a pantry. I'm just making sure too that all of our stuff is out. And uh, yeah, it's a fire extinguisher. Better keep that here. Making sure that wasn't mine. This was the kitchen. We had our table right here. And you'll see in the old video, we had old appliances in here. We bought all brand new appliances. So at least those are real nice, but it's actually a really nice gas range. Quite, quite, uh, quite fancy. Uh, we wanted a good gas stove and we're gonna basically, we're selling them to the folks. They're gonna keep them in here. So they, you know, do what they gotta do here, but we're, uh, you know, we, we put them in and uh, they, they did the trick. So that was what we had up here. And then we had a fridge downstairs. We had a fridge, a freezer over here. So it was a big freezer. It was just, again, very, very tight quarters to, to get around. And, uh, you know, all five of us here 24 seven. Some of you might not be like, well, that's not that bad, but maybe you're at work, school, all day your family not home but yeah 24 7 three rowdy boys and we're here all the time it uh it was quite challenging but we're gonna go ahead and end the video before i walk out this was what i guess you could call the studio many of you have seen this wall you recognize that this is uh where i did uh you know, Gun and Gamers YouTube for a majority of the YouTube now. Uh, again, started in Tennessee. And basically, you know, the Twitch started here. So, yeah, you don't really need to see this much. You've seen that a thousand times. But that's what, uh, that's how close I was to the kitchen. And there where my PC was. And I sat right here. And right there is the desk marks, my chair, all the hours I sat in that little spot right there. Just got some little lamp plugged in so there's some light in here but uh that was that room it was uh 12 by 12. And the new studio is what is it uh, 15 by 13 so a little bit bigger and it's of course got a huge closet this is uh off the ground this is basically like a deck that was converted well it wasn't converted it was intended to be a three season only because the windows were not good but we put these windows brand new in last year so we could use this year round and it has heat and ac but not really enough and so with 11 windows it would get quite hot in here but that is that and i wanted to end it and oh i can't forget to show you right down here look at that that's the dickered internet one and two oh my gosh all those streams and everything came through that 
And this is where we're gonna end off. This is the Dickard modem. I wish it was daylight, because I would have brought the shotgun and uh, had the wife throw it up in the air so that I could, uh, you know, use it as a clay pigeon. But yes, Dickard internet. It actually worked pretty well while it needed to for the time that we had it, but there was five months from January till May this year that it was garbage. It would get like one meg down and half a meg up when I'm supposed to get 15 down and two up, which still isn't very good. And I paid $100 a month times two, nearly 100, it was like 90 something. So almost $200 a month, it was 190 or something for two internet lines that did 15 down and two up. And yes, so this was the, uh, this was the good old, the good old uh, gal here that, that got the job done. For the rest of the time, all of last year and then the last couple months, I've always gotten the 15 and two like intent, like I'm supposed to. So can't do a lot of complaining, but yes, January through May costed me a lot of money and some missed opportunities and things like that. And of course, we couldn't grow the channel couldn't do the YouTube the way we wanted, couldn't, you know, do the Twitch the way we wanted, but we got this far, we partnered on Twitch, we've got, I don't even know where we were, 45,000, I think, subscribers on YouTube, so thank you all so much for bearing with me. I'm going to get the right, there you go, because you're used to seeing that. I don't want to get you, like, unfamiliar territory here, but thank you all so much for helping us get this far. It has been one hell of a journey. Two big moves in less than two years. By the time you see this, I will be uploading this from the new internet. So that'll probably be in a couple days. And when you guys see this video, you'll know I'm real close to cranking out the, the, the new home video. You guys want to see the new house. It is awesome. So we're very happy. We'll get that out. We'll get all the farming, the hunting. The, I mean, there's just like 15 games coming out this fall that we're wanting to get into. The Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, my brain is fried. I think that might not be a game, but that anyway, there's a lot of stuff. We are going to be diversifying. We're going to be going in all different directions with our videos. So lots of different things coming, but thank you. I'm exhausted. We got a two hour drive back to the new place and I'm done here. I'm walking out that door actually right behind me and uh, locking it and I will not be back here. So all right, well, I want to thank all of you again for watching this video. Don't forget to, uh, to you know, throw some comments up. Let me know what you think. You don't actually have to do that either. You can thumbs it up or you could thumbs it down. But uh, thank you all for helping us get this far. I'm out of here. We'll see you all here very soon. Until next time, take care.